Yeah. What, what was your relationship with uh, Kenny Lou? That was Big Brothers. That was my boy. That was my. Mm-hmm. That was my partner. That was. Yeah. I want to tell you some more, but you know <laughs> that was more. I want to see. Yeah, Kenny Lou. You probably gotta go to his Instagram or something or whatever. Fuck, we had. Get an exclusive one. <laughs> yeah, no, you know, he said. No, we we just having the conversation right now. <laughs> yeah, we just like yeah, we had stopped them shirts because yeah. <laughs> it was like yeah. kids was taking that shit too serious. Am I all line for wearing this Jurassic Park? Like you live, you live, you cool. I, you I cool. figured you'd appreciate it. That's yeah, why you cool. Another classic. Y'all are so white. Uh-huh. <laughs> what did they say? Yeah, that's what they said. What we say? No, okay, so um, if we said too much, well, we have to take out. We cut it out. Mm, I'm trying to test tube shit going on, bitch. Reload it. Y'all can put that on the back of the shit. Welcome back. Test tube talk, dopest podcast on earth. Today we got a special guest. Lil Nike, big check. Big check. <laughs> big check. <laughs> yeah. How you What's doing, good? bro? I'm doing good. Hey, yeah. And before we get into it, let me go ahead and introduce my co host, the lovely Alyssa. What's good? Alyssa What's underscore good? Jameson. What's going What's on? How you doing? Mm-hmm. Little Nike, bro. How you been, bro? Man, I've been good. Working yeah. man, consistent. Working consistent. I see that mm-hmm. shit. Uh, I see you really just been coming on the scene, popping almost like you popped out of nowhere, just throwing the videos up and shit like that. Yeah. Just surprised a lot of people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What, so were were you planning on pushing the rap or like you were were you rapping before? Yeah, I was doing the. I was playing around though. I just mm-hmm. used to get in the boot and just go in there and freestyle or something, and then come back out just to play around. But shit, when I came home, I was looking at uh, a lot of videos from Kenny Lou, and I was looking at how he was hitting millions and millions of views. And I was, I, I accidentally slipped up on that. Really, just watching, trying to bring back our memories from all his videos, like me being at every video he shot and. Just reminiscing, and I was looking at his views. I'm like, damn. But then I thought I was like, shit. Why the fuck ain't nobody pick this shit up and run with it? What's up? Why right. we got a lot of rappers in school up? I know why ain't nobody running with this shit. So I went around uh, South Walker, and then he gave me to Miss Megan, and that's how it happened. And right. we shot the, We did this song three days later. Shot the video. Oh yeah. no! So so wait. When you say you came home, you was locked up. Yeah. Well, what, you talk about what kind of stint were you doing? Uh, I was just what I was charged with. Yeah, like were uh, you in pre- you in prison time? Nah, or I was. Time? I'm still fighting the cases right now. I had I had a three hundred thousand dollar bond. I had bonded out. Mm-hmm. Wow. I was in there uh, twenty months. I got uh, three home invasions and aggravated assault. Oh wow! Yeah. You know. Well, what year was that? When I went to jail. Yeah. Um, like two weeks after Kenny Lou funeral, like what, December 2018? Oh, wow. Yeah. Two weeks after Kenny Lou's funeral? Yeah. What, what was your relationship with uh, Kenny Lou? That was Big Brothers. That was my boy. That was my, mm-hmm. that was my partner. That was. Damn. I want to tell you some more, but you know, <laughs> that was more than just a brother. Like, yeah. 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 That was, yeah, how long you know? How long you know, Kenny? I met Kenny Lou. See, I, I had just uh, took Miss Megan to where I met Kenny Lou. At. I met Kenny Lou when I was eleven years old. I was walking down the street, Kill Kenny Street, in Pearl Homes in his hood. I was walking to another neighborhood. My hood was like we were all in the same hood, but it's different sections. The Jurassic Park. I was in my hood. I walked through his hood, and we had on Adidas, and that was our gang logo. So So your hood was I, called I, Jurassic Park. Yeah. Okay, so that's why you rep it so heavily. Uh, yeah, that's where we from. Jurassic. Do you like it? Do you like yeah. the movie and shit? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you, you, yeah. you like the movie Obviously. and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dinosaur's yeah. period. Yeah. Dinosaur's period. And that the uh, original South Park you say Yeah. So and when when did it become Jurassic Park? Man, to be honest. Ken Lou was the first person I ever heard say that shit. I was chilling with him and and I, I forgot what we were talking about, but we was um like by Bay Brook Mall or some shit. And he was like, I, he was like, hey, where y'all living? He was on the phone. He was like, oh, we finna pull up to Jurassic. 
Or like shit I was like What Jurassic is What what is it I thought we were going back to the hood <laughs> He said nigga That's Jurassic Nigga I was like For sure That's what it's called now he, Man it's tragic out here It's Jurassic I was like Oh alright bet And we just I ran with it I don't know how long They been doing That was 2015 When I heard it He probably been doing it Before that But he was the first person I heard say it though Just calling it Jurassic Because you was like Gutter like, yeah. you, ever wa- you ever watch the movie Jurassic Park yeah, I watched it. I yeah, watched that it. Shit. Mm-hmm. Hey, that was one of the first movies that like scared the shit out of me. Oh man. I remember I used to be out that shit that's I, I liked it. No, remember that one that one scene where the kids were trapped in that car and they had like oh, the T Rex? Yeah, yeah that, that shit was scary. Mm-hmm. That shit kinda haunted me in the dreams. So it is it like that still now this day? Like, yeah, is, yeah. Is it bad? Is it, yeah. is it rough growing up over there? Hey, yeah. Yeah. Shit. Hey, yeah, it's tough over there. If you ain't from over there, don't don't even try to go over there, man. Just period. No shit. Yeah. So when did you meet Peso? Because I see you guys hang out a lot, and I like man. Up with him <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, I met Peso now. I'm gonna tell you, I met Peso. <laughs> what? Oh it's man, a it's funny. funny. Yeah, it's a funny story. Now. It's a funny. Tell me. <laughs> he gonna be mad too. He gonna be mad. I met Peso. Look. Mm. I met him at uh, South by Southwest. He was uh, talking Trey Trey up there. I forgot what we was doing up there. I, I I know we was there for a reason. We was at, uh, I think it was one of walk shows or something. We was out there. I met him, but didn't even notice him. Like, I ain't noticed Pace, so he, he had his camera talking to us. I ain't even noticed him. Because I wasn't in, even in rap. I was just on some. So you were just like watching? Yeah, just watching. I okay, just okay. didn't even know. Him anyway, you so have I, any relationships with them at all? Like as far as CSF or any of the crew? Oh, uh, well, uh, at the point, at the moment, nah, at that moment, yeah. I had a big relationship with Sancho. Uh, I knew okay, Walk. Okay. You know, I've been knowing them mm-hmm. since we from the same hood. I've been knowing them, but they was always older than us. So, yeah. you know, they had their era. We we stayed away from because Walk them was considered when we was growing up. They was the ones that was causing hell around. So shit. We stood, we stood back from them, but then we end up growing into it anyway. But yeah, I met Peso, and I came to Galveston. I was there for uh, we had robbed the jewelry store. Shit, <laughs> so shit, we robbed the jewelry store. I got caught. So shit, I came through the door, and shit, Peso walked up to me. It was like, you a rapper? And I was like, nah, why? He was like, because you got hair like a rapper. You got dreads and shit. And I'm like, yeah, bro. Anyway. So, just ran with that shit. Been like, hell yeah. And I was like, yeah. I ended up, I was mad because I was in jail anyway. I brushed yeah, him yeah. off and he just kept standing at me, bro. And I was like, hey, bro, what's up? What's up with you now? <laughs> and Faiso oh, was like, Faiso came up to me like, nah, I rap, dog. Where you from? I'm from, I mean, I'm from Houston. So that's when he started running down. He started running the whole TSL down to me. I'm like, yeah, I know them. I know them. So I brushed him off again, so <laughs> this nigga this nigga face on <laughs> This nigga had some pack of noodles, bro. I'll never forget this. You know, you know about a hot pot? Mm-hmm. It's like a supposed to warm the water up in and pour it on the noodles. Yeah. He grabbed a whole pack of noodles and just put it in the hot pot. And the nigga was just smelling smoke and shit, like, bro, what the fuck? Something on fire in there, <laughs> <laughs> no water, <laughs> man. Yeah, no, nah, no water. Oh, Pay so fucking up in there, bro. <laughs> yeah, there, bro, man. Then it was a riot popped out with uh Houston again. Wait, this is this is behind bars right here. In yeah, this behind bars. Oh, shit. I was locked up with that nigga though. His yeah. name was um King Peso. At potential, time, was he still rapping? potential. Yeah, it was just going to King Peso. Yeah. What? King Peso and then he was like I'm gonna be sauce I'm gonna be this he started writing his name all over the walls in jail Mario sauce Mario sauce <laughs> and I just kept laughing at him I'm like bro I would be like cause he got he had like an energy I used to think he had ADHD or something but mm-hmm. he had like a good vibe like mm-hmm. if you stress and you look at him you gonna start laughing bro so she we had popped the ride off in jail of Galveston in Houston anyway and he wrote he rode with the Houston side and it fucked me up. I'm like, damn. And that's when we locked in after that. I heard him rapping. One day I walked by, I'm like, Galveston so fucked up down there, you know. It's fucked up like clothes wise. They don't give you no know, boxers, nothing. They just give you a, drop, a jumpsuit, so. The county jail? Yeah, yeah. it's fucked up, yeah. you know. So I was down there. I heard Peso putting the show on, jumping. 
But he by the shower, so I'm come to get him. I'm like, hey, bro, give him by the shower, bro. You know these niggas in here weird in this hoe, bro. Give him by the shower. So, man, niggas start fucking around, and he start writing songs. I used to write songs and just tell him, like, hey, this live play, so you like this, you like this. And after that, man, him just locked in. If I'm not mistaken, I got pictures from us in the jail with each other mm-hmm. back in 2015. That's crazy. And after that, we just locked all the way in. So at that time, were you, like, aspiring to be a rapper? Like, or you didn't no, know what you I, I was... What did you want to do at the time? <laughs> Nothing? No, no comment. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, was, I just wanted to scoot, that's how. I feel you. Just get That's to the money. It. Yeah, just I straight that. I ain't want to do nothing. I feel you. Yeah, so when would you when did you get started? What was like uh What made you like click and be like, fuck it, I'ma just do it? You got talent, obviously. Shit. What made you like um, put it into pers- perspective, sorry. <laughs> when did I do it? Now nah, I was chilling and I used to be at the studio a lot, just up there just chilling around and shit. And yeah. People kept asking me, oh, I know Nike not in here dropping nothing. I know, oh, he finna talk about this, he gonna talk about that. And the We With It song, I was like, I just came home and just heard a lot of, like, I, I guess people forgot what we was doing before I went to jail. So I came home and people was like, oh, fuck Kenny Lou, smoking Kenny Lou and this and that. So the We With It song was a message to the streets. Like, we ain't tolerating no more of that shit. I'm back. Okay. So that's how it went. And this is recent. You just be, you just got home. Yeah, I've been home about a month now. Oh, wow. Yeah, how's it, so how's it feel though? Huh? Yeah, how's it feel coming home to like some support and like a shit amazing. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. You had that before? Nah, not really. No. Like what's what you mean like support? As far as like, cause I I know you said you was like linked up with Kenny Lou and you were in his music videos. If at that point did you if you were decide you wanted to start rapping would you have that infrastructure? To I put? wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't even think about that. I was yeah. telling him, like I'm more in the streets. I used to tell Kenny Lou if we finna go do something, you know I used to have to push this nigga out the car like like get your ass out the car or I take the keys out. You ain't coming. I ain't going if he getting in. He'd be like, why? I'd be like, man, you the way out the hood. I ain't doing nothing, man. I ain't. You ain't coming with us. You not doing nothing. If I told you some of the risks we took to shoot them videos and get that money to shoot the videos, man. Yeah. yeah, it cost me a lot of jail time, but we got them videos shot, though. Which he had too much shit to lose. Yeah. yeah. was already popping. Yeah, and then I went to jail for some bullshit ass family violence for like four days, man. And that's when it happened to him. I was fucked up about that. I had talked to him like a day before that. Like, nah, like a week before. And he was already on my road. Cause I had just got out again Cause I got caught that damn thing Video shoot with some sh- Doing some shit up there They took me to jail I done like six months in there then When I came home He was shooting that video With uh, Enzo I came straight to that video shoot Like second day out of jail mm-hmm. And That's when me and my talked And he was like man I need you out I need you out Like So he, in a way would you he say was You're doing you this that? for him? Uh-huh, yeah basically I'm just gonna try to keep it going. That's beautiful. Carry on. I ain't even worried about the money or nothing that come with it. I swear, I'm just like shit. I just want to keep the shit going. Yeah, that's good. Shit show. Like, um, so can you can you tell me about like where the origin of the Scoot Up Gang is? Because like for me, looking on the outside perspective, I'm seeing it more into the music and like you know click a, a music and i'm seeing in a song scoot up gang this but n- when i dive deeper into it and i start doing my research and i'm getting, I'm getting into this stuff is like oh i see like it, it really started as like a street level neighborhood mm-hmm. mm. so you want to know how did we come up with it yeah basically? i was just wondering like where it came from <laughs> Are you all right all right you don't have to give too yeah. many details yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. the scoot up gang came from this we was in the we in the hood. We got tired of people shooting at us from doing drive by shooting at us from distances. Mm-hmm. So the scoot up gang came from scooting up close range. Mm-hmm. 
That's where it came from. So. Damn, have you ever been like seriously shot or injured? Yeah, I got shot six times. Damn. Really? Yeah. You been shot before? Yeah. God damn, bro. Six Mostly? times? Were At the same like time? Grazed or were you like near? Nah, dead? I got shot right here. I got shot right here. I'll show you right quick. Jeez. I got shot right here three times. I got shot right here. I got shot in my butt. Damn. Damn. All at the same time or what? Oh, uh, two different times. Two different times? Yeah. Oh, that shit crazy, bro. That changes uh, you as a person, huh? Shit, it make you want revenge. Hell yeah, yeah. I understand that. Fuck that. But, yeah. like, you weren't scared for your life at all? Nah, they told me when I went to the hospital, they were like, they were checking my pulse. They were like, you too calm. I yeah. was like, they say you on drugs. I'm like, nah, I don't feel it. I, I didn't feel the shots. Yeah. They were like, just don't look down. That's going to make you panic. But when I got to the mercy room, when they did the surgery while I was woke, that's when I started panicking and while shit. You're awake? Hey, yeah. Hey, you Why didn't they give you awake? anything? You didn't want anything? Um, man, them laws was fucked up, man. Oh. I ain't going to lie. Them laws came and told what me. What the fuck, bro? <laughs> shit, they just came in and told me. They cut my oil. Uh, What's the shit called? The air? What the fuck? Oxygen. Oxygen. Uh, yeah, they pulled it out of my nose and shit. Mm. It was no people body in there but me. They pulled it out of my nose and some other nigga shot on the side of me. I don't know who the fuck he was though, but oh they pulled it out of my God. nose and told me who shot me. I was like, shit, I don't know. And they was like, uh, well, we got a message for you. It's 14 year olds and 13 and 15 year olds getting shot and. And we know a lot about you that you think we don't know. Shit, we finna let you know if, if somebody else keep getting killed, we finna kill your ass. And they just <laughs> took the oxygen out of me, threw it to the side, and just walked out of there. Bro, what the fuck? And shit, I was just in there. I was in there. I couldn't really talk because this shit started hitting. The, like, the pain yeah. started coming. I was in there screaming, like, trying to scream, like, hey, I need help. It was just like a random lady walking by the room and... Like, she was like, hey, this boy in here needs some help. He said he can't breathe, and they right. just came, gave me the shit. That was about 30 minutes after, though. That shit is crazy. How long were you in the hospital? Uh, three weeks. Oh, shit, man. Is that, uh, what was that scar on your stomach? Is it just surgery right there? Yeah, they had yeah. to cut me over, and they couldn't find the bullets. Oh, no shit. Yeah. At yeah. the same time right there? Huh? That three weeks? That was what the surgery? Yeah. Wow, yeah. that shit crazy, bro. So, like, let me ask you, um, at a certain point with with the rap and you developing as an artist, you're going to be more well-known. Where, where are you going to draw that line at keeping it real to the street code? And, like, like how you said, like, with your partner, Kenny Lou, like, you're too big, like, you got too much to lose. Yeah, I've been having that talk with a lot of people lately, though, but I don't know. We got to you know... The longest shit. I don't even much know. It's kind of like a figure yeah. it out as you go type situation. Yeah, figure it out as you go. They'll, they'll know when the line... They when the know line, where loyalty lies. Because and... I swear I said that. I used to always wonder. Like, I thought I was tripping, though, but I guess I'm not. When I used to push Lou out the cars and all that shit, like, man, you can't come with us. None yeah. of that shit. You ever get upset with you? Hell yeah. 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 Of course. Well, hell yeah. But you put your foot down? You're yeah, I made that shit. He ain't the first. It's a lot of a couple rappers done that, yeah. though. That's with this scoot up shit that's out there now that, that I done, done that too. Like, nah, you can't get in this car. You got to be the way up out the hood and shit. But I done it to him, shit. He, after a while, he understood it. Like, close to his death, like, he started kind of, I started peeping him. He was changing a little bit. He was changing too much, like, it was good though, but he was changing too much too fast. Like, you was barely seeing him in the hood. He was hitting the road more, going out of state. That nigga was happy more though. But, like, I stopped getting them calls by the oh, I just got shot up or shot at. I stopped getting them calls. I was getting more calls like, where the hoes at, bro? I'm in the city, where the hoes at? I'm like, oh, them the calls I started getting, and I was like, all right. He chilling now. But he, he, I mean, he, that's what you wanted to see for him, though, right? Yeah. I mean, that, is that the same type of path you're trying to go on too? We just gonna have to see. We gonna have to, yeah. yeah. We gonna have to see how it go. Like, um. So, like with you 
like blowing up and getting as big as you're getting and you're pretty popping on social media right now do you ever like let the fear of like you know other people that you don't particularly fuck with see you and just like you know that paranoia of like you never know when someone's gonna run up on you or like hurt Mm -hmm. your friends or your family like how do you deal with that Mm. that's a good point yeah she said, what What she said? God. She was like, nah, yeah. I mean, she sure, really. Them. Including them. I just take it like this. If I know, if I know I'm somewhere where I ain't got no sources to the scooters, shit, we going to have to, we going to have to be on note everywhere we move. We're going to have to back against the wall or anything like. Yeah. Until we see what's going on or we're going to. We gonna be, we gonna, we gotta be strapped. We can't got no choice, but yeah. Do you ever find yourself like having? A I got function? caught up like that though before though. Yeah. I got caught like that. Lou was laughing like a motherfucker. I remember this. I got caught in court. You wanna talk about in, it? In the courtroom, I remember. Yeah, they came. I was, I was doing some. What I was doing? I was checking in that court and turned around and ran into seven, eight of them. And she, we all just got to fighting in the courtroom and she, we went to jail. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, so, I don't, wow. <laughs> yeah, I, who initiated it though? Who who, who initiated? It? Yeah, it's seven on one. Yeah, it was seven on one. Yeah. What the fuck? They jump you or yeah, they jump. Like, yeah, they jump me, but it wasn't just too much of a jump. Like they ain't know what they were doing. They really could have uh-huh. done me. If that was us, well, yeah, I would have been in trouble. We going yeah. jail anyway. Yeah. Shit, yeah. we finna beat your ass for this jail time. <laughs> Yeah, at that point, you know. It was like me and one nigga post up, f- po- start punching, and then the rest of them try to run in. You turn around, they get scared. He try to run in. You just keep turning around. Then I faked them. I faked the fuck out them niggas with a cell phone, too. What the cell phone? Yeah, I had that bitch like this. I'm like, what? What? Come on, play. I'm going to fire your ass up and shoot you in your fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> they really thought I had a gun in that motherfucker. Damn. It was funny than a bitch, though. I was like, damn. <laughs> Yo, you're like this fucking crazy. Yeah, bro. That shit wild as fuck. Hey, yeah, it was cool though, but to that loud man, he he, he, he put get your hands out your pen. Yeah. I'm like, shit. I was oh like, you got God. it, you got it. Jesus. Well, I mean, I see, man, you got a lot of talent, bro. It's so, like, I want to see you make it. Like, oh, yeah. at so. one point, you gotta be able to different okay like all right this is disrespect like this is as a man even i'm a street code like as a man you're like all right i have to take care of it but some of you you gotta like just brush it off you ever Mm. feel like that i've been brushing it out for the last couple years really i still brush it out to this day i've been hearing all these niggas on some niggas don't even know lil b just talking shit and all this fuck scoot up gang shit but i'd be like damn bro i'd be seeing and i'd be seeing kids say Kids say that shit and I be looking like, damn, bro, only if y'all know who who the fuck y'all dealing with, bro. Like, cause we we, if we was to run into them, how y'all think that's gonna be? What, like repping Scoot Up Gang and stuff like nah, that? Nah, it just, I don't care about the repping shit. No, I really yeah. be, like, be like the disrespect towards us. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cause, yeah, do you, what, how you feel about like kids as far as, cause there's some kids that just like see it from a user perspective, perspective and they're like, oh, Scoot Up Gang, this and that. They don't know like what it all comes behind it. Yeah, I be feeling bad for them too, though. I be like, man, you know, I ran into a lot of people in jail like that because I was in there so long and I never knew Scoot Up Gang went this big already. I used to see people, I'm Scoot Up Gang, I'm Scoot Up. I be like, y'all know who y'all talking to? And they used to be like, nah, I'm like, I'm Nike, and, but I had already got too big and size and shit. And I yeah. be like, oh yeah, we know you is, and I just be like, damn. Y'all fall off in that wrong tank talking about y'all scoot up gang. Y'all's in trouble, bro. And y'all don't even know why the fuck y'all getting beat up for. Damn. Oh, wow. Uh, so, like, so with that, as far as, like, merch, Jurassic, so, like, say as far as scoot up gang, Jurassic Park, and, like, merch-wise, if you, would you put, like, t-shirts out that says, like, scoot up gang? Like, think of, like, a, uh, Reptar on like, uh, yeah, scooters. That, like that. We've been we having did. that since Lou was alive. Yeah, dude. Oh, so we were in the Wee Wee like video. That? That's what we had on the Wee Wee video. Does that, would, but would kids ever be in danger or anything like that for wearing that? That's why we stopped them all. Yeah, they was in danger. They We had them scoot up a die shirts. We uh-huh. had, you ain't never seen them all? No. 
What video he wore this shirt in? I, I feel like I could look it, it up if I had to. Yeah, Kenny Lou, you probably gotta go to his Instagram or something or whatever. Fuck, Can we I had get an exclusive one. I won't wear it out. Mm, yeah, no, you know, he I'm said just no, we we right. just having the conversation right now. <laughs> yeah, we just like yeah, we had stopped them shirts because yeah. <laughs> it was like yeah. kids were taking that shit too serious. Am I online for wearing this Jurassic Park? Like you live, you live, you cool. I, f- you I cool. figured you'd appreciate it. That's yeah, why you I cool. was like, I was, I pulled in the closet. I was like, oh, let me yeah, I ain't gonna think nothing of you. If you if it had scooted up or something, you let him to sell McKinney Lou or something. People yeah, you'd rep, be true. will like rep anything, and they don't even know the origin of it. Yeah, they don't. It's well, you crazy. see, already <laughs> like that with like everybody. Oh, blood and cut and this, all this shit right here. Yeah, just like, just, just like white kids with the uh, the hip hop and the rap. You know, like how how do you feel about that? Because a lot of uh. The fan base and the people that you're rapping to are white kids and like as far as like going into gang, they're all gang gang this mm-hmm. and this and and that. I think really NBA kind of like pushed on that door. But even from my perspective, I started listening. My first rap was like listening to Boosie and Webby, yeah. and I was like five six years old, and I had no like business. I don't know what the fuck they were talking what about, <laughs> but I thought I thought it was live. Well, I see. See, what's you like? What's the message on? Like, yeah, but does that like does that tie into like? How do you feel about you? Like, fuck it, you know they're paying me to give me the money, or you're like, uh, really, that's not type of audience I'm looking for. Nah, that's cool. Yeah, cool. It's you cool. It's like jumping. it's not really too much of a deal with us. Like mm-hmm. with this scoot up shit, it's not a deal with us. Like we don't really give a fuck who claiming to say it. It's our enemies that give a fuck about who oh, claim okay. to say it. We don't give a fuck. We like shit. Keep it going. It's a movement. Yeah. Yo. And then we turned it into a joke. We started turning inside outside of the game. We started having school to wars and shit. Like, we started just turning into like a little movement or something. We, movement. They yeah. care about that shit. Yeah. The, uh, the ops. Like the yeah, the ops. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they give a fuck about that. We don't. We be like shit. But why is it that they be fucked up about it? Is it just because, like, gang ties and street shit? Or is it just, like, y'all are getting money and everybody's Man, rocking? They've been hating on us for years now, bro. It's like, we've been going through this for years, so we be like, we don't even, we really stop paying attention to them. It's, yeah, it's basically that. We getting money and shit. And then we got the, we got the little name, some live right now. Definitely. Yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. Everybody's really rocking with the movement. In the yeah, comments, yeah. all scooters, scooters. Man, I was fucked up. My first two days out, I was at Trippy Red House, and, and first, first it, two it, days it, out, you yeah, at Trippy Red House. What is it? I think it was an Airbnb Shout or some shit. <laughs> yeah, I was at the Airbnb, and Bro was playing some one of his songs, and he was like, "Yeah, I'ma scoot up and do this," and I, and I turned, I was like, "Damn!" I was like, hey, "Where you heard that day?" And Chris King kind of explained it to him. Like, what, why did I notice that and all that? He was like, yeah, I heard it out here a lot. And I was like, damn. And they yeah. just, I just put it in the back of my head, like, damn. I started texting people, like, hey, say, bro, this man said scoot up, man. And they were like, man, Nike, it's big now. I was like, oh, damn. They're damn. picking up the lingo. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's up. So, do you ever see it like evolving into something more than just like, uh, like a brand to where the oppositions won't hate on it and you could put out merch or what's going on man that is, that's impossible why they not gonna hate come on yeah <laughs> that's impossible but at one point I mean you get too oh, big man, they, can, they might have to be like man fuck these they're shit they're definitely gonna be overpowered by the movement yeah um, shit victory um, <laughs> I was thinking about starting like a scooter line too though a scooter, like some, yeah, some electric scooters. Yeah. Or? Yeah. Let me know when you do. I want to buy one. <laughs> yeah, 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 I was looking for it. I was, you can't hate on that. What you going to do, break the scooter? You going to buy it, then break it? No. Shit. Still bought it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, definitely, bro. Like some electric scooters or yeah, what? Yeah, electric. Oh, that yeah. Fucking dope. That would be dope. You should get some, like, scooter back, like scooters out to the kids and shit, too. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. yeah, yeah we were talking about that, too. Yeah. Like, we talked about that like a month before Lou died. We was going to do that on Christmas, but, you know. Do it, bro, for him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You ever uh, ride the birds? 
Yeah, yeah. what's it called? The birds. That's and, the one uh, that's awesome, huh? The one yeah, that be chirping. Yeah, 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 I just yeah, wrote yeah. that like a week ago. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, I seen you post on Instagram, huh? Hey, yeah, I was yeah. surprised. I care. We got there at nighttime. I was like, bro, they got scooters out here. What the fuck? And there's people all on them hoes riding up and down the street. <laughs> I was like, man, I figure go get on one, you know. They, they just ditch them anywhere too. Yeah, they ditch them anywhere, bro. They, they're like really low key. Some some cities don't fuck with them because they're a problem. They just throw them out wherever on the sidewalks and shit. Oh, yeah. I don't think Houston Houston has some, or no. I don't know. No, I don't we so. gonna we gonna get that going. We gonna get that shit going. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Scooter Gang gonna get that shit going. This yeah, she be the forefront said, of it, huh? This one lady said she was drunk and she decided to take a scooter home instead of like calling an Uber or whatever, and the cops pulled her over and arrested her. DWI. DWI for real. That's oh, not wow. a motor vehicle though. It was something. It was like uh, under well, the influence or public intoxication or something. Yeah. But. It. I don't know. That's messy. A like, scooter, bro. She got pulled over on a scooter. She go beat that shit. So, uh, also before I let you go, what's your uh, relationship with OMB Bloodbath? Oh, uh, yeah, we are uh, close. Yeah, uh, I was. I've been fucking with Bloodbath for damn. I've been fucking with Bloodbath for years, like ten years now. Probably oh wow. Longer than that. I'm finna see you at her Everybody Eats Festival. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're they gonna be. There. Yeah, this gonna be the first time I seen blood and then. A minute. It's gonna be a minute since I seen blood. I'm excited. I ain't seen her in like two years. Oh Damn. yeah. Two and a half, probably three years. I ain't seen blood in a minute. How long y'all been tapped in? Since I was like, oh, we we really locked in in 2014. But I've been on her for years though. Mm. Like years. I, I we tap we locked in at shoots like around when she was first was finna start doing the shoots and all that. This first song because. I was a, I, I was, I was a huge, like huge. Every time I seen blood, like blood, give me some of that unreleased. Give me some of that unreleased. Like I used to got about her unreleased shit. Like, yeah. man, I was huge on her. I'm still here to this day. She fired, she bro. Hard, yeah, bro. Mm-hmm. she she be she spitting that fun. shit, bro. Yeah, yeah, I be like, damn. I, then you see, you see where we came from, and then now where she at right now. I be like, damn, that's. See, they done, her, they done right. They got her, kept her out of trouble for a She was one person, though, that that wanted to still be in the streets, though, that we got this, that I remember recalling once or twice telling, nah, you the way out the hood. You can't be out here with us. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, she was one. Well, that's dope. I'm excited to see you at Everybody sure. Eats. Yeah. Thank Definitely. You I'm excited in. to see where y'all take this shit, bro. <laughs> Take it worldwide. For sure. Game Hopefully. worldwide, right? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. sure. And obviously, sure. you're working on something. So you said you shot a video yeah. today? Nah, I ain't shit one today. Oh, no. no I recorded some live songs, though. I got some fire shit on the way, though. I'm just. Okay, all right. What you got working on right now? Um, a lot of features with of people. Features. Features, but, but. Mm, see me with the Jammy, Bloodbath, Bugatti Casino. Damn, damn. Pace, man, Peso got numerous songs. And so I was Walker, we gonna do some. We done some. We got we got a lot of shit on the way. You work on a project or mm-hmm. album mixtape? Yeah. yeah. The That's EP dope. is almost here. That's dope. Hey, yeah, yeah, we gonna be looking forward to that <laughs> shit, bro. Cause the video's been dropping is live, man. If it's your show, and uh, well, go ahead and also tell them where they can find your videos. I guess Instagram and you can find the link. Uh, yeah, follow me on Instagram. At the real the night, real the night, and you just real the night. R e a l l i l n i k. And find you. I'm just on YouTube right now. You'll see me on other plat- platforms in the next couple of days. Yeah, yeah. Most definitely, videos is hard. Music's hard. Yeah, go check that shit out. And tap in. Yep, tap in, and then y'all tap in with us. Y'all like, comment, subscribe on this video. Uh, Test Tube TV, everywhere else, Instagram, all the other platforms. Uh, appreciate y'all watching. Peace. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Oh, shit. That was, that a, was good. Thank yeah, you, bro. Yeah, that was good. Another classic. Y'all are so white. <laughs> <laughs> what did they say? <laughs> what did we say? No, okay, so... Um, if we said too much, well, we let me know if you cut it out. Mm, I'm trying to think.